Hi students, welcome to Science Teaching Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, the science subject questions which was asked in CTET entrance examination. This exam was held on 28th July 2013. Okay. For discussion purpose, I have used the question booklet code. Yes, this question I have used. Uh, I skip some questions because it's related to psychology. So I am apologize for that. Let's move. The, the, uh, the first question we are going to discuss is this. Given below are the steps to test the presence of protein in a food item. These steps are not in correct sequence. Actually, they are asking for the correct uh, the correct sequence of steps. Okay, this is the test for that. We should prepare food sample, and in that we should add two drops of copper sulfate followed by ten drops of caustic soda. Then, if the food item contains protein. The solution will turn into violet color. So the answer is the third one. The first two steps are making the sample into a testable form. The next question Which of the following terms constitute the female part of a flower? Actually, the female parts of the flowers are stigma, style, and vocal. Stigma is a sticky part that receives pollen grains during pollination. Stale is a connective tube between stigma and ovary. And ovary uh, within the ovary, fertilization occurs in flowers. So these three are female reproductive parts in a plant. So the answer is stigma, ovary, and stale. The next question, how many muscles work together to move a bow? Well, they are asking, uh, actually, uh, one bone can be connected to many muscles. Means number of muscles is needed are connected to a bone for its movement. At least we need two muscles for movement because muscle can only pull, muscle cannot push. They are generally asking how many muscles work together to move a bone. The number is not fixed. Sometimes two, sometimes four, or sometimes even the larger number of muscles. So number is not fixed. The next question is, choose the set that represents only the biotic component of a habitat. Well, what is biotic component? Biotic component means living participant of the habit of a, of a habitat. So what are all the living uh, candidates? Insects, frog, fish, and aquatic plants. In option first, in first option, water is an inanimate object. Second option, sand is an inanimate object. Third option, soil is an inanimate object. So only option is having all the biotic uh, means all the living participant is this one. So the right answer is the third one. Again they are asking for correct sequence. They are giving jumble, uh, jumbled sequence. In this question they are talking about vermicomposting. The steps required for the conversion of kitchen garbage into manure are given below in a jumbled form. This question is about vermicomposting. Well, what is vermicomposting? Vermicomposting is a process that uh, we are, in which we are using earthworms to convert our uh, biodegradable wastes or kitchen garbages into a menu. So these are all the steps generally. We should dig the pit and fill the bottom with sand and add garbages which is biodegradable wastes 
and then we should add earth worms and finally we should cover okay, prevent evaporation so um, the covering is essential it prevents the evaporation and it keeps the environment cool the earth worms are eating uh, are actively eating the garbages and converted into the menu so the correct sequence is the fourth one b a d or b c cover the bottom of the pit with sand then put the garbage into it the pit and add worms then cover the pit loosely with grass or gunny bag the next question actually this is the definition of symbiosis so what is symbiosis two organisms are best friends and live together one provides shelter water and nutrients while the other prepares and provides food such an association of organisms is termed as symbiosis so this is the example of symbiosis like us mutualistic relationship between algae and fungi algae photosynthetically provide uh, synthesize the foods fungi provide the shelter for algae so the answer is symbiosis and the next question in the alimentary canal the swallow foot moves downwards because of actually they are talking about peristaltic movement so peristaltic movements aids the movement of food particles so how peristaltic movement could achieve by a concentration of concern contraction So the correct answer is the contraction of muscle in the wall of the fourth pipe. Then the seventy-first question: Frogs and earthworms breathe through their skin because of which the skin of both the organisms. Actually, in this question, they are talking about. cuticle respiration so what is cuticle respiration actually diffusion of gases occurs via the skin so the the skin should be moist and watery so the answer is moist and slimy thank you students stay tuned for more videos and thanks for your kind attention For the video, we discuss about more questions which was asked in that examination.